what's up guys it's baby k and i'm back with another motherfucking video you just write with me show you supporting me show me you listening you ain't ignoring these things is important to give reassurance no i got trust that you try to ignore it already said to me you wasn't going so where is you going we gotta get going i just need that loyalty need that loyalty need that loyalty yeah and today I'm gonna get my belly pierced. I'm gonna take the opportunity, I'm gonna go. Now, Seema and Sanaya are gonna go over there with me. I'm gonna meet them there, so I have to take the babies anyways, but um, yeah, if you didn't know already, Sanaya is Nassim's fiance, and Nassim is my husband's brother, so my brother-in-law. And right now my husband is away in the military in a different country, so that's why he has not been in the videos. That's why he's not going to be in this video. I got the babies all dressed already. I did my hair. I need to re-straighten it though because look at that. And my hair grew. As you can see, because the red is going down here. Yeah, they look so freaking cute right now. I'm gonna show you. They're eating right now. Say hi. It's a smart baby. Milani. Say hi. No. They're eating plant-based chicken nuggets right now. And I taste them and so far they were fine. You are so cute, baby. You are so cute, baby. Yeah, so we're gonna see how my day goes. I'm about to make, um, actually, because I bought it yesterday and I can't wait to try it. It's a buffalo chicken dip. But like the red hot, Frank's red hot thing. Oh, I'm about to show you. And I think I'm going to try this now before we leave. It's 2.03 right now. It's 2.03 right now, and so now you tell me around like 4 to be ready, so we have enough time. I'm gonna make my chicken dip, my buffalo chicken dip, and Naya is gonna be ready. Y'all, I came a long way from our first video because, one, our first video, I had gained weight. I was like, probably like a few months postpartum nah i'm lying the babies were like a oh, year already nah i'm lying what the fuck either way i came a long way from our first video i look 10 times better and my hair grew i don't know how the tiktok people be doing that shit the dances is like I'm back. So, I'm about to start making it. I'm about to just put it. I'm about to just put it in the microwave. Call it a fucking day. I was just doing some push-ups. I'm trying to get my push-ups back up because when I was in the army, bro, I could do like 45, no issue. Like, knock them with the fucking highway. So, I could do like, I don't know, maybe 45 or something like that. Like straight, just knocking them out without getting tired. And then after 35, 45, whatever, start going nuts when I start getting tired. But I want to get like that again. I want to get like that again. So I've been doing it. It just reminded me of in boot camp. It just reminded me of in boot camp when um, they used to smoke us. And if you don't know what smoking means, is when the drill sergeants would just, like, somebody would fuck up and everybody would fuck up, or they would just fuck us up for no reason. Make us do, like, mad push-ups, mad sit-ups, like, exercises and all that to make us tired and not to learn our lesson. But when you're in basic training, and I just remember because I, I did the push-up, front leaning rest position, move. So you gotta, like, come together, get your legs together. Front knee rest position, move, drop, one, two, three, 
One, one, two, three. I'm looking at Elani too. Mom, I'm trying to explain. Look at this girl. Sit down. Sit down. Look at her. I had to take the buckles off to clean, so they're not on right now, but they're usually on because she, she likes to stand up. Sit down, miss. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Ow. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. Ow. You don't want to eat your papas? Mm. Yummy. Yummy fries. These my girls, man. Let's do an update. Since I know I do videos, but I don't really talk about the girls or like that. And I don't really show the girls too much. Mm -hmm. Because like I post them on TikTok, but every other social media account that I have, I don't really post them that much. And I don't know. Like I like TikTok. But sometimes I don't even be posting on there. But I have like baby content on there. They love to sing. Always singing. Like I could not exaggerate. My babies are always fucking singing. Now look at this one. They know how to say yes. They know how to stay. Mama, thank you, Pickles. You're welcome. Every fucking nursery song on Coco Melon you could probably think of. They know how to sing it. Um, Naomi tells me to stop a lot. Naomi tells me to easy. She says easy. Um, it's a lot. The girls are getting so big. So freaking big. But hey, and good news is Bam is going to be here for um, their birthday. And he's not going to eat. So that's awesome. But I don't think we're going to do a birthday party. I think we're going to take the girls somewhere or do something special. Because birthday parties, really, I don't really fuck with birthday parties. Like, you can't really rely on family and friends to actually pull through. Because I've seen way too many. And honestly, I don't really fuck with anybody right now. Like, I do. But at the same time, like, the type of person I am. Let me turn this guy. The type of person I am. I'm there when you need me and if I need you then you know that's that but I'm gonna go on with my life and I'm gonna keep doing what I want to do like my friends I feel know that because I go ghost a lot and I just really be focusing on me my family the girls my mental health because with Bam being away on deployment it's really hard to keep your mental health together. Uh as I would with anybody, but with me, I really struggled with my mental health at the beginning of the year. So now I'm doing better. I started doing things to take care of myself. I started doing things to make myself feel better. So I can definitely say I am sometimes better than I was at the beginning of the year. But here, this really looks like I'll be good. Mentally prepare myself for going out because honestly, I don't really like going out too much. And I don't really like driving too much either. And also, at the beginning of the year, um, I literally did not drive at all. Like, I had really bad anxiety towards driving and just separation anxiety in general. It was really bad. It was really bad at the beginning of this month. I mean, it was really bad at the beginning of this year. But like I said, I'm a lot better now. I don't know, I feel like I should tell you a story or something. I was talking to Sanaya the other day and um, I just been mixing. Let's see what it looks like. And I didn't realize how much crazy stories I had until I was talking to her. Funny. And, and I never realized that we didn't ever tell you guys the story of that night that me and Bam met. You know what I'm saying? That night that we met and um, 
like just the whole like story the whole like scene situation everything so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get some chips and i'm gonna tell y'all so it all goes back don't mind the babies in the background it all goes back to a dark and lit day in the trap house <laughs> and not really a trap house you know what i'm saying but that's what we called it at the time because we were partying all the time this is how the night went at this time bam was talking to a friend that i had at the time we're gonna call her we're gonna call her banana okay so me and banana were friends but we were only really friends because we were in um training together so we had to be with each other every day and then we ended up finding out that we were going to the same duty station together so we were just like hey like you're going i'm going blah, blah, blah. and we became friends so we got to our duty station right we got there together and time goes by we have fun we met friends blah 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 blah, blah. now I met a new person and his name is Dolphin. Fair. Okay. So that. He knows who he is, and if you know me, if you know the story, you know who he is. Bro. Dolphin was um, friends with her also. We were all friends. It was a big group of us. Then we meet Bam. We met him through Dolphin. Dolphin was good friends with him and blah 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 we started going over to bam's house and that's when me and bam met blah 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 the girl banana and bam they were introduced to each other because i guess she had his eyes her eyes on him and she was like put me on blah blah, blah. and bam like he was like all right whatever you know they started talking i think it went like i i don't know how long it was that they started talking i think maybe like a week or so maybe more but it started going bad it started going bad because this girl was a very light drinker and she would get like plastered and it would be like the sloppy plaster to the point where we're just like no boo like if you know you can't control your liquor don't drink liquor because the way you act him you know what i'm saying so and we would tell her all the time we're like bro don't drink she would think it was funny she kept doing it whatever until it came to one night where <laughs> why did i shove the whole chip in my mouth <laughs> it was just one night i'm not gonna lie to y'all all right there's no reason for me to fucking lie this is the way it happened uh, you know this girl she got drunk off of one cup of wine not even fucking joking and we were all like annoyed because she was already like <laughs> like she had an obnoxious laugh whatnot she had an obnoxious laugh and everything. Like, it was just annoying to deal with and her drinking just like amplified it and so she got drunk as fuck off of one wine a glass or one glass of wine the night is going on she's being very obnoxious no baby no 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 She's being very obnoxious, all this shit, and she's really drunk. So then Bam and his brother, they start getting pissed off because she's drunk and she's acting a fucking fool in the house and it was just killing the vibe. Like it was really killing the vibe. She ended up leaving drunk as fuck. Like she started driving and she went home. We tried to stop her. She didn't want to stop. Like she was on a fucking mission to leave the house. She left the house. And we were like, oh my god, like, I was worried because, you know, at the time she was my friend, but at the same time, like, she was drunk. Like, she was dead ass drunk, and I was like, I was worried for her that she was going to get in a crash or something, you know? So, me and Bam, then, at this time, I was in a relationship, okay? I was in a relationship, I know. Now, give you some back info, okay? The boyfriend that I had at the time... It wasn't the best relationship at all. Like, it wasn't one that I did him dirty and all that shit. Like, no. We're in the army. We weren't even supposed to be dating at the time. So our relationship was basically a fucking secret. Mine and that boy. And I'm going to call him... Jalapeno. Me and Jalapeno weren't even supposed to be dating at the time. So, it was like low-key, whatever. 
he didn't really fit well with the group of friends that I had. So like when I would go hang out with my friends, I would just go hang out with my friends, you know what I'm saying? I didn't invite, invite him around because if you know what it feels like to have invite a friend to a new friend group and it'd be awkward, then like you know, so that's why I never did it. And it wasn't even that serious, you know? I would go to my friend's house and we would all literally just get lit together and have fun. Banana, banana left. Me and Bam, we're just like, all right, let's go try to find her. At this time, me and Bam are strictly just friends. Like, we're just cool as fuck, bro and sis. Nothing, no flirting, no nothing. Like, it was nothing like that. We go and we went to go find her. We went on base. We went to go find her all over base. We could not find her. We drove to her place, to her house, her barracks. We could not fucking find her. So we're like, like you know, there's only so much we could do. We blew up her phone, nothing she didn't pick up. She was drunk, she was drunk as fuck. So me and Bam ends up, we heading back, we're heading back home and we're talking, blah, blah, blah. It's dark, we're in my car, he's driving my car. Jalapeno is texting me, he's like, what are you doing, blah, blah, And I'm just like, I'm with Bam right now. I'm trying to find my friend. And at the time he was talking to her. He starts flipping the fuck out on me, like, not even joking, he's acting all jealous and shit. And I'm telling you, at the time, me and Bam weren't like that. We didn't look at each other, nothing. He's blowing up my shit. He's like, oh, why are you hanging out with him by yourself? Like, this is a thing. Like, you know, just blowing, going the fuck off on me. I'm talking to Bam. We park at the house. Me and him are talking about, like, relationships. We're talking about, like, life. The things that we want in a relationship, in a person, like, in life. Like, our goals. Because me and Bam were close. We are good friends. Talking about everything. Then, as the conversation's going, like, I'm talking to Bam, I'm just like, man, like, we're clicking a lot. Like, we have a lot in common. I'm just like, he's cute, you know what I'm saying? Jalapeno is on my phone talking about, like, blah, blah, blah. I sent him a message. I was just like, you know what? I was getting tired of him blowing on my shit. He kept calling me and everything. And I was like, you know what? We're done. I was like, we can't do this. I was like, I can't do this. I was like, this isn't going to work. He flipped the whole fucking script, bro. He was like, no, 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 stop. Call me. Call me. I'll call you. Like, um, please call me. We can talk about it. We can work on it. Blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, no, bro. Like, honestly, we're not really like, I'm not feeling this relationship. You know what I'm saying? So then, and from the beginning, like, he was kind of like a, not to throw shade or talk shit, whatever. But me being dead ass. And whoever knows me and knows him knows this he was a very negative person and whoever knows me they know i am a very positive person i'm a very happy person i am always smiling so we went out on our first date and i paid for everything but that's besides the point okay so he's blowing my shit out. i'm like bro like it's really not gonna work like that's it i'm done i really like i was over it i didn't really care i didn't love him so i was like i didn't really care and we we're just dating Then me and Bam are just talking. We're talking outside in the dark. The stars are out, like it feels good outside. I'm sitting on my on top of the trunk of my infinity. And I was just like, when me and him were talking, and as in the first video we posted, we came to the conclusion that we wanted to talk to each other. I'm sorry if I'm like smacking so hard and shit. I'm trying to eat my bubble chicken dip. He tries to say that I hit on him first and I initiated it first. But I didn't. I did as remember him saying, so why don't you talk to me? Because I was saying like all the things that I wanted or whatever and it was everything that he was and everything that he wanted too. And he was like, so why don't you just talk to me? And I was just like, you fine, I'm fine. Yeah. Come here, burn it. And then ever since that, we walked inside. We got lit for the rest of the motherfucking night. The next morning, it was like a whole new life. I was excited, I was happy, I was talking to Bam. I went home the next morning with the other girl. And we ended up going to work, whatever. And then ever since that, me and Bam have been inseparable. We slept in the same bed every single day. I was actually, no. It took a little bit for me to kiss him and to like warm up to him because I wasn't really an affectionate person. And I didn't have boyfriends like that. Like Bam has been my first boyfriend. 
real boyfriend. He has been my first like, real relationship. He has been my longest relationship. He has been like my first almost everything besides kiss. Kiss, obviously, no, I kissed a person before, but he's been my first everything. Ever since that, it's been lit. It's been lit for us every day. And I didn't realize how quick I got pregnant. I can now say this because we're three years down. We're three years ago. Like this is all three years ago. But I got pregnant quick. And it's funny because I wasn't even the boy to like my family when I told them that I was dating Bam, they were like, You're lying. Like, cause I was I'm I'm a jokester. I'm a prankster. So nobody really takes me that serious in the family. So when I say some serious shit, they'll be like all right, Nene. After that, it's been good. It's been my man. We got a family. We got a family together. And honestly, even though shit moved fast in the beginning, which I didn't even notice. It didn't feel like it was moving fast in the beginning. But looking back at it, I don't regret it at all whatsoever. I don't regret leaving Jalapeno. <laughs> I don't regret... Because after, obviously, I stopped being friends with Banana. Because, one, one thing about me, okay? I don't do nobody dirty. If I stopped being friends with you, that was for a reason. And that reason was most likely because of you. So, if you were being fake to me, shady to me, like, any type of way. Where I see you got a fake flaw, a snake flaw. I'm, I'm not fucking with that. I'm not fucking with that. And I will detach myself and I will stop being, like, I will stop fucking with you. And it is what it is. Ever since that, I stopped fucking with her, obviously. Her and Bam never did anything. They never dated, seriously. They're, they were just talking at that time. Yeah, so I just stopped talking to her. And ever since that, my life has been good. I can't really say too much about hers, but, you know, I don't really know too much about. And I don't really give a fuck, anyway, to begin with. I'm living good. I'm happy. I love my life and I love that I made that decision because it was all based off the decision and I was about to get out the army at that time. So if I wouldn't have gotten with Bam and made the decision to be with Bam, my life would have been completely different. Like I would not be here, I would not have the twins. I would probably be in Pennsylvania. If I was in Pennsylvania, I would probably, I don't know, I don't know. Now that y'all know that story, if you have any more questions or any more stories or anything else you wanna know, comment below. Make sure you subscribe also. Okay, let's get this, let's get us to 1K, okay? Yeah, um, I hope you guys like this story time. Stay tuned for the next part. It's gonna come up right after this. So after I clean up here now, I am going to bring the babies upstairs, change the diapers, and blah, blah, blah. They're a little tired and Melani, they're not really fucking with me right now. But um, yeah, so just stay tuned because I'm gonna take y'all with me to the piercing place. I'm gonna try to record as much as I can and I'll try to get as much as I can of after. I don't really do much all day, so this is pretty much the only exciting thing that's been happening, that's happened all month. And the only exciting thing I'll probably do today, so. And we're here and I got it. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so right now I'm at the gas station and I'm with Sanaya. Sanaya's inside, obviously. And I got my belly pierced, okay? I didn't get to record too much because honestly, I was nervous and I was just wanted to get in and out. But it went pretty good. It didn't hurt too bad. It was just a pinch. The lady was real nice. Um, yeah, the place was cool. It wasn't that expensive, it was $60. $2. That's because I got a spray to help it. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. Babies, we've been driving and they have not given me a hard time. They never really do. They do really good in cars. But yeah, it was a good day. I had a good day. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you didn't, sorry. I'm sending love. I'll see y'all. If you just rap with me, show you supporting me, show me you listening, you ain't ignoring me. These things is important, they give me insurance. No, I got trust that you try to ignore it.